Hello, welcome to this week's Dividend Cafe. I wanted to give you a few comments on this week in the markets and uh, sort of continue upon a theme that we've had going for a little while here, which is how investors should interpret current events, both with the new Trump administration and the fact that the stock market itself has been doing so well for, for quite a little while now. Uh, this particular week is very interesting because the market is down um, since the day that the market was up 300 points last week, which happened to be March 1st, since then the market's really only had one day, maybe two that was up at all. It's down a couple hundred points. So we just kind of dropped a little bit, but you know, still from that big day we had had prior to that. But the thing that I want to focus on for those of you interested in what happened this week in a very updated sense of uh, the current state of affairs is the price of oil, which had hit into the 54s for WTI, West Texas Intermediate Oil was at over $54 a barrel. And as we talk here today, it's a bit over 49. So you have essentially, if you don't mind me rounding for you, approximately a 10% drop in the price of oil. And that's come literally just in the last two days. So the first comment, it represents a kind of just silly response to comments made from the Saudi uh, oil minister saying that U.S. shale production is is going full steam ahead and messing up their goal to to control world supply of oil, and so then it's caused traders and speculators to just panic out, blow out a position, say we don't want to touch it, and it's pushed oil prices down. Um, so that's a reality that's happened to oil prices. It means absolutely nothing to us whatsoever. But then the other piece is, wouldn't you think? A price drop in oil of over 10% would have a bigger impact on the markets than, let's see here, today the Dow was up two points. Yesterday I think it was down 60 or something. I mean, more or less, the overall equity markets, you could say, oh, it's down a little bit in the last week, because it is, but relative to a 10% drop in oil, you would expect the impact to have been far bigger. So to me, I still sort of believe that we have a risk on environment and that we have to translate what that looks like in terms of investment opportunity. We definitely want to trim profits around certain positions that we think have really moved substantially. We've been doing that. Um, it behooves us to try to create some degree of a little cash buffer, uh, either within our fixed income or in actual cash position, dry powder, ready to put to work. But um, we remain very steadfast that the best opportunity we see where we really want to be convicted buyers is in the energy sector based not on the price of oil whatsoever, but based on an area where we don't think the market's priced in what we think the Trump administration outlook will be. So I'm going to leave it there for the week. We think that the energy sector is very opportunistic. Be aware of oil prices that have dropped, market resilience through that. And we'll see what next week holds. Thanks very much uh, for listening to the Dividend Cafe. We really encourage you to go to DividendCafe.com to read a fuller market commentary on our website. Have a wonderful weekend.